Tonight, a life-threatening bacteria forced one woman to think outside the box. The unusual treatment is being called a medical breakthrough, allowing her to live a normal life. Action News reporter Julie Bonavis joins us live in the studio tonight to explain a rather odd story here, Julie. It is rather odd, Stephen, and the procedure may actually leave some people feeling a bit squeamish, but it's the only thing that would save her life. Poop. It's a stinky subject. We flush it down the toilet without thinking twice, but what actually comes out the other end, it's no stinking matter. These bacteria do wonderful things. Things that can cure our bodies from superbugs. There are hundreds of different kinds of good bacteria in our bowel, the same type of bacteria or probiotics that you find in your yogurt. But would you be willing to take someone else's human waste and put it in your own body? For Ellen Blackwell, it was a no-brainer. It saved my life. I, I was dying. Ellen was so sick she couldn't eat for almost a year. All she could stomach were crackers and water. I didn't have any appetite. Ellen had a life-threatening form of bacteria called C. diff. It's similar to MRSA and largely resistant to antibiotics. Taking $7,000 a month in antibiotics. I wasn't able to eat at all. I lost a significant amount of weight. Um, I was very, very sick. There is a group of patients where really nothing works. And these patients have diarrhea, which is absolutely relentless. Treatment options are slim. Either remove your colon or risk death. But Dr. Sudhir Duda at Sinai Hospital was willing to try something radical, something that's never been done before at his hospital, a fecal transplant. The only thing is just to hang up about stool. And dealing with stool has never been a pleasant thing. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to look at it. But results can be life-saving. It really makes a difference in the lives of these patients. The only thing Ellen needed was a donor. The people who can donate the stool sample are generally children or spouses. It can be brother, sister, or it can be somebody who you know. That's where Catherine, Ellen's daughter, stepped right in. I'm thinking, this is a really good idea. Like, we have all these bacteria in our colon. You know, it's like a super probiotic. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, everything was dependent on when I could show up to the hospital with the sample. So I just brought it down to the lab. It was Dr. Dada made it, so it was really smooth sailing. We got everything in there, and it was just a simple endoscopy. It was different. Kenda Corner prepared the stool sample at the lab. And surprisingly, all she needed was a simple kitchen appliance. We blended it in a blender that was purchased from Target. The stool was then poured through coffee filters to purify it, so only the good bacteria would be transplanted. That was very interesting. Nurse Belinda Mason assisted Dr. Duda in the surgery room. It's poop, and it smells like poop, and you know, then you figure you're actually introducing it into the patient. So we had to go through the mouth and put it in the top of the small intestines and then had to go through the colon and run it through the whole colon. We literally sprayed on the walls of the GI tract. For Ellen, it was well worth it. I wanted to eat food within 24 hours. I felt normal. Ellen is glad to be cooking again, whipping up tasty meals with her newfound appetite. And Catherine is just happy to spend time in the kitchen with her mom and enjoy meals together. I already have one out. Okay, good. These two now share something much more than your typical mother and daughter. Catherine and I now have bacteria in our guts that matches like a fingerprint. A perfect match coming from an unlikely source. I'm just happy to be able to eat. All right, now this procedure is actually really common in Europe and Canada, but here in the U.S. it isn't yet because there still needs to be more testing done. Julie Bonovich, Channel 7, Action News.